Yes. Hello, YouTubers. This is a VR, deep south experience. Bam. About your EDC. I'm going to show you a little bit sort of carry in my little bag and out and about walking in the woods or my little every day get me home bag where I use I take us to work with me. First of all, I've got one of these little pads for sitting on. So we're using that. <laughs> there you go. Um, these little Mora, we all know what they are. And I've got a little DC4 Hulk Niven Sharpened Stone, which I carry. And I think I've showed you this before, it's a life straw. That's a nifty little thing that's handy for, let's say, a thousand litres of water. Purifies them, you can drink straight out of the river, the pond with that, but I think everybody knows about them. So, that's right here. Um, fire kit here, we've got a little pouch. Quite a nice little fire kit. We've got a couple of mass sticks in there. Um, a bit of rope, cordage, to rake it up a nest with. Some cotton wool. Soaked in wax, beeswax. Um, little rocket lighter, turbo lighter, turbo flame. Oh, Nifty little thing. Zip balm, oh, that's got loads of different uses. It's handy for starting fires. And we know what that's for as well, that's for starting fires and whatever else. I've also got in here this little tin magnifying glass, which is giving this little tin lovely. Ah, I've got to go on. Magnesium block, striker. Got plenty of ways to start my fire. And this little tin here, char cloth. That's handy. I've got couple of spare lighters, you never know. Um, and I've got some more of these little straws with um, cotton wool and Vaseline in them. So there's plenty, some more in there, a couple more um, tampons in there as well. That one's not going to fit in. So there's uh, plenty of options for lighting a fire. Uh, a couple of little bits of tiny bits of flint there, but they do work. So, this is that lot. I don't know if you can see it all. Put this, well, if you put this down here, you've seen it. It's a fire starting place. Also, got in here um, tea making kits. <laughs> tea bags, coffee, sugar. Some little biggies. Um, chocolate drinks, small fever of chocolate drinks. That's for making me tea with. This um, trail mix, whole food trail mix, which is pretty good. You get them nibbles on the way along when you're going somewhere. Uh, what else have we got in here? And insect repellent wipes. These are always handy. Um, in here, no, that was in here right this poncho, which is quite a good one. We all know what they're for. I, can, I carry this with me in case I get caught in the rain or if I, have to, if I have to put up a little shelter, it does work well for a shelter. So that is pretty nifty. That is a very good one. Double lined this poncho, it's pretty good. Um, candle, I haven't used it yet. Oh, that's what got. Let's see what's in here. Oops, let's see what's inside done. Some sweeties. I'll move this down here out of the way. Some sweeties in case you need a sugar rush. 
Uh, go up. This is chicken. Pass the sauce. No sardines. You can't have to eat out like Some noodles. I got one of those army sweet and sour chicken. Uh, 300 grams. This is just a little bits in case I had to stop out. I have enough for a drink. I'd not be there for a couple of days if I'd really come to it. I'll carry it with me just in case. Um, water purification tablets in here. Uh, chlorine dioxide tablets, high strength, life set from life systems. A little bit of comfort eating if you need it. Keep the blood sugars up as well. Chocolate. Lighter, no other lighter. <laughs> Can't have one through my lighter. This one's got some duct tape wrapped around it, just in case. Put that in there. And a little peanut snack sprinkle snacks. And some chewing gum. Oops. I hope you can see this. I'm trying to do it in a hurry so my camera doesn't run out. And I also got in here. British Army knife made in Sheffield, uh, stainless steel, yeah, made in Sheffield, the genuine British Army knife, which is pretty good, it's got a nice blue lamb's foot laid on it, oops, it's very stiff, got the bottle opener on it there, tin opener, and it's also got the spike, which is a very, very homely knife, it's a good little knife that I've used for a few times, Peanut brittle and some more tea bags. Spare ones. Meet my friend Clive. Hello, Clive. Hello, Clive. <laughs> Another spare coffee. Um, that's another lot. Let's see what's down here. I showed you this before, this little GPS back tracker functional. This pinpoints where you are and can get you right back to where you are. When you move off anywhere, it'll get you back to where you want to be. Once you've set it, you'll get pretty so much battery. Everyone knows where they are. I've showed you before anyway, I think. Um, in the back of here, I've got a thermometer, little compass button, compass on it. And I've also got this little light. I'll leave it at night in the dark if you want it, really. But that just stays on the back there. Uh, what's in there? First aid kit. Well, you've all seen what's in these. The usual stuff. Toy blanket. Uh, Bactress tablets. If you should get the uh, sugar rush, you need one. Painkillers, bandages, plasters, stuff like that, the usual stuff you get in them. I'm not going to pull it all out, but I've got a rough idea of what's in it. Um, oh, that's my first oil for a fly. So that's my first aid kit in this one. And also got another little couple of fire starting things in here as well. I do like to start a fire. Got a 9 volt battery, some wire wood, and a bit more cordage. Wrapped up separate, the wood in the wire, the wood in the battery, sorry. And that there will get your fire going as well. And then here I have the flint, the jar cloth, and the old fashioned steel that will start your fire. We've also got a spare flint and steel in here. More charcoal, more little straws with uh, Vaseline in them, and a bit more cordage. There's various little bits and pieces in here. Just keep it as a little redundancy, a little backup. Give us some face, you never know. So that's there. I know it's an awful lot to be taken with you. We're always in a little bag and I take it to work. I want to go to work just in case anything ever happened and I couldn't get back from work. I'll have enough stuff on me to keep me going, to get me home if I had to. 
I don't work that far away from home, so generally I can get home and it doesn't take, it's no hardship to throw on my back and carry it. I go to work on my little scooter in the mornings and gets me in there. This hole goes in my locker the whole lot. I've also got in here, this bag is just nothing else special. We have a little power cord, loads of about three or four big hanks of power cord and a couple of large black bed liners. Just in case she would have to make a bed up or a mattress for yourself or something uh, to get you off the ground. And also they're handy for picking rubbish up. Um, another little spare carrier bag which would be handy for picking rubbish up as well if you have to. Um, stretch bound each thing, just in case. Some tissues, well they're universal. You can blow your nose on them or away there, but whatever goes first. Light a fire with them as well. Put a chapstick on them. And I have got an emergency shelter, which is pretty good. They are quite a size, about eight foot by five foot. It's got a rope with it and everything. I've never used it, but I know it's either if you needed it. So that's that. Um, got my little bungees. A few more talking about right here as well. Metal bottle, for water. That's honey in case you, it's a white mouth in case you need to boil water in. So it's honey now a metal one. Um, some more from Skingo repellent. You get down the river, you get eaten to bits. And I've got this little torch here I carry as well, which is brilliant at night. It's absolutely fantastic little torch. It didn't cost much, you know, we got it down uh, Littles. Um, two different modes on it, I don't know if you can see it all, but it's a pretty good little torch. It is a uh, Livarno Lux. It's only cheap, but at night time it lights up fantastic. It was really, really good and worth the money. I think it cost something like about seven quid, I think, was all it was. Uh, from Riddles and it's absolutely brilliant. No one be without it. I've also got to put a head torch in here. I do have one in there but I'm doing the batteries on it at the moment so that's why it's not here at the moment. Um, I think a couple more bin liners if there's any more rubbish. I do hate to see rubbish when I'm out in the place. It's terrible. People go out and treat the place. Go out and spend the night there and leave all their crap there today. Oh, it's rubbish, absolutely ridiculous. Two little gas bottles. You can see the old Coleman's. Small ones. That's me, did for me. Cup. And that's um, oil. Not to cook with. And some hand sanitizer. You can go for a pee or whatever, you can wash your hands. I've also got in here, I don't need to get it out, just a little windshield. You buy them pretty cheap. Um, little knife sharpener here, another one. A little pair of scissors. The mug. The ASB mug. There's a little bit of your boy and anything in it, which is handy. And this is another little cool one. F1 light cooker, which is a nifty little piece of kit. Once you get it all on, oops, stop dropping everything on the floor. Days of anything really to say, the grub there get me through a couple of days, and I hopefully I'm never that far away from anywhere, so I soon get a bit of grub if I need it. You know, so. Got pan on here, let's try a pan for some emergency. The thing I haven't got in here is a bit of um, oh, a couple of sporks. I'll 
party sports. I think I haven't got in here as a notepad at the moment, but if I really need to take any notes in, you put them in the notepad on one of my phones. I've got two, two phones I carry with me, both iPhones, which are pretty nippy. Uh, one's for general use and calls, the other one's for playing games, I want to be honest with you. So, mm. But, um, oh, and my wallet. Carry my wallet, and my money in it. So, uh, anything else? Oh, what else have I got? Oh, little easy carry here as well. This goes everywhere with me. You've seen this before. Little capsule for carrying money, spare money. This has got some charge off and a bit of cordage in it. It's a little petrol holder actually, but I only use it for charge off and cordage. Another little torch, which needs a battery in the moment. I think, oh, that's light on it, that's light. And a little true utility. Thing, which is a um, little mini one, multi two, another little, another little magnifying glass. I think you've seen these. I think you've seen this. You've seen all this one before. And there's another fire seat. So I've got quite a lot of kit here, but it says not heavy to carry this, but it looks a lot. But it's ID for a little get home bag. That's all. I don't think, uh, what else have I got in here? What's in here? Oh, house keys. Another uh. little torch. Need house keys. Believe it or not, that's not another lighter. <laughs> so more gum. Stick me back in my pocket. And some loose jeans. I think that's the about it. For this little bag, I'm glad to say. Oh, we've got another little couple of things here, which are this one has got charcoal off in it, I think. Yeah, but it's got some charcoal in it, some caps. And I think this one's got some more little straws in. It's a cotton wood and a Vaseline, yeah. And these do work rather well, these little Vaseline things. It doesn't have to hold the cotton wood for the oily cook. We can get a fire started with it, no problem. They're just hanging on the side of that bag. Along with this little, or little torch, just in case of emergencies. In the dark, we don't want to be seen, you want to read something. Um, pretty nifty. And they just stuck in the back of the bag on a car of it. Another pen there as well. I think that's about it for now, boys. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video anyway. There's not much. I know it looks an awful lot, but it's a small table and it is a fair bit of gear, but it does it is in there. Take it to work. Every day when I go to work, take it with me. It goes in the locker and as I said, wherever was anything ever did happen and I had to get home. I've got enough stuff there to get me home, so I've got me a bit of grub, I've got my first aid kit, I've got my life straw, something to put me water in, something to cook in and drink out of. And uh my knife and that and my cordage and stuff. So my little cooker. I've also got transient stoves in that, but they only go out in my big pack of them going out overnight or something. If I go for just a day out in the woods, I'll take that. I say the thing I like to take is my poncho because that, I can use that to wear in the bucket and down the rain if it comes on, as it usually does in this country. Or you can put it up and use it as a shelter. And um, sleeping underneath it, you can use it as a ground sheet. So it's got a few good uses. And I also wear, obviously, I wear a proper coat. So another little thing I've got on me as well, my whistle. Always carry me whistle. Just in case. It's an only little thing to have on you as well. I usually carry that because we're out with dogs. But um, that's about it for now, boys, I think. So hopefully you've seen this is first time. Don't forget deep side experience. I'm sorry I've been away doing it, mate, but I haven't been too clever lately. I've been off work with kidney problems. I've got stones and they've put a stint in. 
and it's making it making life work where I just can't get out much at the moment. So I'm hoping to get this stent out soon so I can start getting out and about and get back to work. You know, it's starting to wear me down. Every time I stand up, most of the time, every time about 20 minutes or so, I have to run that toilet for pee. And these stents are bloody nightmare. I knew it was going to be, I got a wooden lamp put in. But um, other than that, not too bad, mate. So I'm just in the back garden at the moment. The only pigeons out here at the minute. Well, I'd have a fly around and keep pigeons just for a half hour to see them fly. They're racing pigeons or anything. Just run them out. Some of them are rollers, they do somersaults in the air when they're flying. That's quite spectacular to see. They look like they've been blasting out the sky. But um, they're all sitting on the roof at the minute. They've just been up for a fly. They're all sunbathing at the moment, so which is quite good. It's 10 to 6. It's still daylight, but that's not bad. Don't get dark till about half eight, nine o'clock now, which is lovely. I just want to get out and about and do a bit of weight camping, which I'm hoping to do soon. To say. So, um, thank you Stan for um, having a look at this, asking me to do this. And as I say, I'm sorry I'm a bit late with it, but um, that's it what it is. And I'll see you again, Mike, and um, I'll keep watching your channel. I think it's very good. And I enjoy watching your channels. Uh, also, I like to ask. I think the tradition is you ask someone else to do a video or what they carry. So I like to ask Mac Tatewood what he carries on his everyday excursions. And Barry the Essex Brother. And also Wakey George, the bus the bus past camper, sorry George. Yeah, Wakey George, the bus past camper. So you boys would like to show to show everyone what you carry on your um, EDC. You say this is just stuff I carry to work mostly. This is in my pocket all the time. This I carry this everywhere. And most of the other bits and pieces are just there all in my bag. This is so food, tea, water, coffee. My first aid kit, and means of cooking stuff on it as well. And I've also got which isn't in there at the moment, which I carry in my big bag as well. I've got a little thing, one of little tiny pen fishing rods with a little read it. Which is handy, you know, you can't catch fish. It's a really small thing, we can catch fish up there with five pounds on it, which is pretty good. And I'll uh, show you that one day, but it's indoors in the water. I haven't been out anywhere, so I'll put it in my bag. But, um, so that's about it for now, boys, and thanks very much for watching, and um, hope to see you all soon.